Indiegogo. Do you, if you don't know if you're familiar with Indiegogo, but that's like a crowdfunding um, website where someone that wants to go to market with some new device or doohickey that they made goes to Indiegogo, and then if you believe in that device, you pay for it, you pre-order it kinda. They say it's like a contribution, it's not really a pre-order because there's no guarantee that they're gonna make it. Anywho, on Indiegogo, there was this thing called the Bionic Gym, which are these leg wraps with a battery that attaches to your phone via Bluetooth with an app. And the idea was that, or the idea is that the the electrical stimulation, you know like those TENS units that you have and you feel like a little like twinging from the the electricity? Well the idea was that the electricity is stimulates the muscles at like the same frequency as the muscles would contract when they're shivering. Like you know when you're cold, you're so cold, it's gonna it's gonna stimulate your muscles to contract and relax at that same frequency. Which is, if you think about it, like the body, when the body's really cold, to get warmed up, you shiver. So it's a very efficient way to like burn, um, to burn calories to build up body heat. So, I made my contribution and there were a lot, a lot, a lot of setbacks. But that happens. I, I'm not going to fault anybody for that. So, years later, uh, finally, I got my bionic gym. I thought the Bionic Gym would be this like great way to be able to watch TV, burn some calories, get in shape. On the demo videos, the guy that invented it is he's using it, he's sweating up a storm. He's got um, the heart rate monitor, he's getting his heart rate up to like 180 plus, and he's breathing heavy and everything. So I thought this is like a great way to train cardio. It's got no impact. You can do it while you're laying on the couch, but you want to put like a towel down because you get all sweaty, you know? And, or maybe at like a lesser setting, you can, you're still going to burn calories. You're not going to get quite the cardio workout, but you'll still burn calories while you can clean your house or talk on the phone or do what you want to do. There are two versions of the Bionic Gym. I think basically they're the same thing. It's just that one includes the workouts for hit hit training, high intensity interval training. So um, I guess you're paying a little bit more money for that capability. I don't. I have to be honest. I don't actually know if they're if they're identical. I think they are. It's just a matter a matter of the software. So the promise is do a marathon on your couch. It's, that's pretty compelling. It's not that, it's not like exercise for free. I mean, your body's working and you're sweating. So it's not that it's, you're relaxing. It does feel like you're working out, but it's sort of like passive exercise. It's being done to you versus you applying your will to make your body locomote and do these things. If the, if there's a willpower, if there's willpower that's involved with Bionic Gym, it's more like the matter of willing yourself to overcome the discomfort, the discomfort of the the stimulation um, that the um, current is providing on your legs, and also the just the discomfort of sweating and you know not being able to move very much because your legs are compliant, kind of like shh, like locked out and tense. When I used it, I used it at mostly at the higher settings. I did play around with like the lower settings and I just, I guess I'm just a little bit nutty. I just pushed it to the max as fast as I could. There is some um, sort of a, a phase where you have to go through of getting acclimatized to that itchy, stingy feeling. After a few days, that kind of goes away. It never gets to be like, oh, this is wonderful. It feels like a massage. It was never really at that point, but it just get, it gets, it does get to the, be where it's tolerable. The Bionic Gym, it was okay, but I'll tell you, my biggest problem with it was that it didn't feel like that intense of a workout. Like, it feels like your legs are gonna explode because they're being electrocuted, but it's not like, it didn't get my heart rate up that high because I had a heart rate monitor attached to it and I don't remember that it got above like 130 or anything and I'll go this way no I go this way there we go um, as you can see it's a little bit unwieldy these are the this is the pad here 
um, and those are the left leg because I went to college. Ow, ow. But you know what's like such a pain in the butt? Whenever I put these things on, they're so cold on me. Like, these things are like somehow feel like icicles. And the right is the one that keeps the battery in it. This is the battery. There's a so there these these are magnetic over here and it plugs into this thing. This is the male, there's like a female connector in there. And there's a little magnet, two magnetic pieces that attached to the bottom of this, and one of them came loose, and that was that's where the issue has been. Like here, if you here, 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 click in. But here's a power button. If you've ever done like any strenuous exercise at all, and you you won't be really satisfied with this. It just you just like get a little sweaty. It's kind of like the equivalent of going for like a walk on a humid day. Do I feel like I got a workout? N no, because I'm used to, you know, if I'm gonna work out, it's gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna get really, whatever. I did find a couple of ways to get my heart rate up. Like if I started waving my arms all crazy around and like jumping jacks and stuff really fast, I got my heart rate up. If you don't do too much exercise and you're wanting a place to start, maybe you have bad knees or bad hip or something like that. This is this is perfect for uh, something like that. It broke. I'm so mad. I'm so upset that it broke and the customer service has not been very customer servicey. They just keep asking me the same question like three times already. I'm just saying it's not cheap. So if it's like I kind of just feel like it's easier just to do old-fashioned, like, uh, stationary bike or something. Because I feel like you get a more intense workout, and for the fact that the very time-saving thing that it claims it's doing, I really don't think that it does. Because you, like I said, you have to, you have to dedicate, like, I, I can't put those things on my legs and clean and stuff. It's like my whole body's, like, spazzing out. And it hurts like hell. It's itchy too. And, but, hmm. I'm kind of bummed because it seems like it would be such a good idea. And the guy, like, guy, um, Dr. Crow, Louis Crow, he's so nice. He's like such a nice guy. And it seems like a really good idea, but I want, I really, really, really wanted to like it, but it just wasn't cutting it for me. The thing I liked about it was that especially that it was no impact you know like no no you know getting your cardio going without any strain on it on your joints but i guess bike you know stationary bike riding or bike riding in general is pretty much no impact also 